What's up, West Branch Middle School? Taylor Molly here, author of What Teachers Make, uh, How Falling in Love is Like Owning a Dog, other poems. I'm here to give you your vocab words. First one is rhyme. You know that word, R-H-Y-M-E. It can also sort of be spelled R-I-M-E, like time, but don't do that. Uh, connected to rhyme, I want to talk about end-stopped rhyme, which is where the rhyme comes at the end of every line. There once was a cat who sat on a mat. He got hit with a bat, and that was that. You know, it, that makes it sound very childish. I'm more into rhyme that uh, just sort of happens here and there. I'm not going to go through some sort of dance mentally to rhyme anymore. I tend more to rhyme by chance, just like accidentally. Uh, rhyme scheme, half rhyme. A half rhyme is when it doesn't quite rhyme, but it can still be fun. Next vocab word is stanza. A stanza is a group of lines. Technically, now technically, a stanza, a poem divided up into stanzas, all of the stanzas should be the same length. If they are not, if uh, I'll show you a poem, then it's technically called a strophe. Onomatopoeia which everybody pronounces wrong. It's really spelled onomatopoeia, uh, but everybody just says onomatopoeia, and that's when you use a word that sounds like the thing that it's actually describing. Boom is what they always use as an example, but there are much better examples. Personification, anytime you turn an inanimate object into a thing, the wind thinks that it needs to squint in order to remember its Grief. Oh, I gotta write that down. Uh, alliteration. Alliteration I love. I love alliteration in, the, in both types. There's consonants where you uh, imitate the a consonant sound, and then there's assonance, which is when you imitate a vowel sound. There's a line in How Falling in Love is Like Owning a Dog that says, Love doesn't like being left alone for long but come home and love is always happy to see you. A ballad. A ballad is a poetic term. It's really more of a musical term now, but it uh, uh, refers to any sort of narrative verse, often, often sung. I mean, originally a ballad was a narrative poem that would be sung. So now you hear a ballad more in terms of a sort of a rock ballad. Let me tell you about the story of a guy who <coughs> I don't want to go there. Hyperbole. Hyperbole is when you talk about things, oh, it's completely over the top. You could say that Shakespeare's poem, My Mistress' Eyes Are Nothing Like the Sun, is a sort of a po poetic argument against hyperbole. Back then, everybody was saying, My Mistress' Eyes Are Like the Sun. He was like, no, 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 no. My Mistress' Eyes, they're nothing like the sun, but I love her anyway. And the last word that I want to talk to you about is enjambment. And enjambment is when the, the line ends, but the sentence that the line is a part of does not end. Uh, and it goes on to the next line. I've got a, a line in one of my poems where I say, I commit this notion to the earth with all of the dead flowers, pictures of you, haunted stones, and guilt. Now the line is enjambed. And so if you were to read the poem line by line, when you get to that line, I commit this notion to the earth with all of the dead, you would think I'm using dead as a, as a noun there, with all of the dead, all of the other dead, the dead. But no, I'm using it as an adjective, and you only realize that when you read the line in the context of the sentence. Dead flowers. I commit this notion to the earth with all of the dead flowers. Pictures of you. Haunted stones and guilt. That's in a poem of mine called The New Ash on the Roof of Our Building. I'm not sure you can find that anywhere, but I challenge you to.